So this video is not sponsored by Syme, the developers of this particular application, or indeed by anyone else. I just think it's a great bit of software, and that's why I'm talking about it. So with that said, Peak2 is a digital asset manager for large photo libraries. You can use the small photo libraries too, I guess, but it's most useful for people with sprawling photo libraries. What it does is enable you to collate all your different photo libraries into one central location, manage it all from that location, and search within the entirety. So let's get to the point of this video. A couple of days ago, Peak2 sent me a press release and said they were releasing a brand new version of the software, version 1.8, which included a new tool called Conversational Search, which is a AI based search facility. So it will index all of your files locally without using anything in the cloud. It's not leveraging Google AI or Stability AI or anything like that at all it's all done locally on the machine and you can then use this ai search to find images with specific descriptions or types or whatever you like using the new conversational search tool now of course like all of you i've heard this before we see these new projects come along additions to software upgrades add-ons where they say oh yeah you know it's great you can find anything and they've always failed to deliver. So I, of course, decided I would test Peak2. I immediately updated the software. I installed it. I let it run the AI analysis, which took about uh, an hour and a half, I think, two hours. I wasn't really paying attention. It wasn't that long. And when you consider I've got nearly a quarter of a million photographs, it's really not very long. And then I tried it. And I have to tell you, I was blown away by the results. <laughs> Let's get into the photo library and do a few searches. So here we are in grid view in Peak2 in my Lightroom catalog, and I'm gonna click the conversational search button. Now, the way this works is you can type in whole phrases or you can type in individual keywords. They suggest you type in phrases, but I have found it works just as well with single words. Oh, and I should also add before we get into this that I've only keyworded about 8,000 of my nearly quarter of a million photographs. So it's not using keywords words to find images so let's see my first example in my little notes here and i decided to search for a path leading through a forest or woodland and i've got it set to in the currently selected context here which means it's only going to search in my landscapes directory my lightroom catalog rather than in all my photographs and as you can see from these search returns it certainly fulfilled the remit you know these are not keyworded photographs it's an analyze these locally index them created its own ai analysis of them and this is what it thinks of a path leading through woodland or forest it's pretty sensational isn't it over on the right here you can see we've got this tolerance option and i've got it set to tolerant because I want to get as many results as possible. I found that it produces very few false negatives. It's not perfect, but the number of misses is pretty minuscule compared to the number of hits that it gets. But I'll show you if I flick to uh, standard, you can see we get a lot fewer search results, but they're much more kind of on target. So these are definitely just paths leading through Woodland. If I move to tolerant, you can see we get things like beach pathways here I guess so a little looser definition now one of the reasons why this is so useful for me is that I get approached by companies asking me for photographs of specific subjects or locations or both so let's say they came along and said have you got a photograph of a surfer in the south coast now most of my photographs are south coast so I won't do location but here you go I mean you can see how far this stretches down the page how many thousands of photographs of surfers I've got. What can I say? I live on the coast. If I want to, I can click on the show button down here, which will transfer this search returns into this grid window. Let's say the customer came to me and they said, oh yeah, oh, actually, can, have you got any of a, a surfer at sunset? So I can put the search in there and here's our search returns. And as you can see, we've got tons of pictures Let's put these on the main window. 
so it's pretty sensational let's clear that search and how about we look for something like farm animals in a field let's see what we got i'd say it would delivered on that front there's just hay bales i guess it's just a field but by and large i'd say this was a pretty accurate search return so you can get pretty esoteric of course if you want to what about waves splashing on rocks there we go very nice i can put that on the main screen clear out the conversational search and there we go quite often i find myself starting out with a quite kind of wide search like children playing and i get those search returns and then i get a little bit more granular and just say children playing on a beach and there you go i've got lots of nice photographs of kids playing on a beach so let's say i want to create a little collection of photographs of a sunrise or sunset with just deep red colors and there you go now i didn't specify an rgb i didn't say pantone or anything like that i said deep red you know this is english language stuff it's the way we would talk to each other you know if you're asking another photographer if you've got any you know, deep red photos but here we are talking to the ai and holy shit i mean just look at these results it's just brilliant you know uh, and i could just change that to purple and i get all these beautiful nice purple and pastel search returns now i mentioned that you can just search for single words and one word i might search for a customer might come to me and say have you got any photographs of rainbows and here you go yes i'd say i've got lots of photographs of rainbows now i do actually keyword these because they're relatively rare and i usually stick a keyword in lightroom but one of the really cool things about this is that i can also use location so let's say i just wanted photographs of rainbows in nearby shoalhaven heads so we've made our search that little bit more granular and I'm going to flip these onto the main grid here. These are all images that fulfill my specific requirements. They're only Shoalhaven heads. This is the public wharf there. That's the river. That's the public wharf. Uh, and we've got rainbows. So you can get incredibly granular with this. So I think that gives you an idea, guys, of just how awesome this is. And as I say, I was completely blown away by this. In fact, I was so uh, impressed by this that I actually flicked an email to Syme and I said, you should really congratulate the developers for this because it's just the first proper AI search I've used that delivers in a way I've never seen before. It's so accurate. It's so quick, as you've seen, and so effective. And it's going to prove so useful to me over the coming years when I try and find stuff. And the nice guys at Syme wrote back to me and were really pleased that I enjoyed the software. And they wanted to give me a software license for this to give away on my channel. And that's what I'm going to do. So if you would like your own full version of Peak 2 Summit Edition, which is the full paid for one, it's not subscription, you own it outright. If you would like your own copy, all you have to do is like this video and put a comment down below it. it doesn't have to be a lengthy comment or any kind. You can stick an emoji in there if you want. Just make sure your name's in there. What I'll do is once the views on this have kind of trickled off a little bit in a couple of weeks time, I will collect all of the names, stick them in a chat GPT, have it randomize it and pick a name. And the person whose name comes up will get this full version of Pig2, courtesy of the lovely folks at Sign. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like. And uh, of course, don't forget to comment if you want to be in the competition. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.